right, guys, we're out here today with the fifth wheel M1, and we're just going to do our little five mile break in ride. So, we are going to reset that in a second. <laughs> it says 0.25, even though we haven't moved anywhere yet. Um, so we'll reset that and we're going to go do our five miles and see where the battery is at that, at that point. Easy stuff, right? This is a nice scooter, man. I mean, yeah, it only does the 16 miles an hour, but it's nice. Nice brakes, nice ride. Yeah, I'm happy with this thing, no doubt. And we just went into some mud, of course. So that throws everything off. <laughs> it's not made for mud, okay? Now I'm gonna have to sit here and dodge all of these, uh, all of these uh, trees and all this other crap that fell down here from that windstorm we had. I mean, that thing was pretty bad, actually. So, as we did with our first ride of the, with this thing, getting up this hill was not that hard. I mean, excuse me, was not that easy. But it does make it. Just doesn't make it that fast. These bumps, I noticed, really take a toll on these phone holders, to be honest, because I've already had two of them just snap right in half. Two of them already. It's when you get up here and get on all these uh, lines and the, the pavement and... starts affecting it starts to affecting that uh, Chinese plastic there. Oh, it's windy as heck. Let's go to our favorite place in the world. <laughs> Popeyes. I mean, I think this actual, this wind is so ferocious. It's actually slowing me down. <laughs>
Nice brakes on this thing. Wow, pretty nice. This 4WP, aren't they open on Sundays? This place is swamped all during the week. I guess Sundays ain't closed. Or did they go out of business? Rough country. So it's got a different name now. It used to be 4WP. Yeah, I don't see any sign up there anymore. They must have sold out. There's still something going on here. They still got them ramps over there. So, but now it's called Total Off-Road and More. So, 4WP is no longer Wee Wee. Okay, so they're gone, so. Well, guys, the scooter runs great. Okay, no complaints on the running. It's just, you know, just one of them class one deals, you know, 15 miles an hour or whatever it is. So, 16. We got 3.6 miles on here so far. Okay, 4.4, <laughs> we're getting close. Now this thing will, won't let you go past like 16 miles an hour. That's as most as I've seen it go up. So even though I was going down that hill full throttle, it doesn't, uh, you know, it won't, it just automatic, it just breaks it up. You know, the electric brake kicks in and just stops it from going too fast, so. It's a great safety feature for kids, man, believe me. You get a steep hill in your neighborhood and your kid goes down the hill, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna prevent him from flying down there 100 miles an hour getting killed. <laughs> you know how kids are, right? Because I was a kid, right? 100, 150 years ago, <laughs> I did, believe me, I did a lot of crazy stuff. 
4.97 miles so I'm on my way back yep see we're going down this hill and it won't let you go no more than 16 see that oh we went up to 17 there for a second but won't go much further than that much more than that because I went down that hill before already with this thing and only got up to 16 so that might have been just a GPS glitch or something all right guys we made it back so yay <laughs> let me see what the uh what we're looking at here so it says only one bar left on the on the thing so that's not very encouraging so it says on there that i got one bar left and only went 5.7 miles so you know that's uh that could be a little shaky for a range test right all right guys we'll, we'll find out though we're gonna get the range test in there but you know these these little things on these batteries they're they're shaky at best right i've ridden these things where you would go a couple of miles and the which one was it i don't know if it was the jetson or one of them other ones like that one of them small things and it uh it went all the way down right away I think, oh, I know what it was. It was the electric, the light. The electric XP light went down right away the, the, uh, the bar. And then it went for another 30 minutes. It kept going. I was just like, what the heck's going on with this thing? So, yeah, those little bars can be a little bit deceiving. So they're not very accurate. Uh, you really like to have voltage meter, but, you know. You don't have that on a $299 scooter. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.